Hi, I'm Rob, and today we're at the East End Arms. So, there's something special about this pub. Nothing in the architecture, it looks about 19th century maybe. But uh, it's owned by a celebrity. And you'd know them, but I'm not going to tell you who it is just yet. I'm going to give you some clues throughout the walk. Anyway, we turn away from the pub and we walk down the lane. There's not always a tanker there. So we carry on down the road and this really is a, a walk of life. Oh, that's a pair of lovely forest cottages. So that's a really lovely bit of thatch in there. The old fox chasing the hare. So at the house on the green, we turn left, signpost Sowley and Buckler's Hard on the lane. So at Tanner's Lane we turn right off the lane, walk down to the beach. Good morning! You're famous! <laughs> so those hills in the background you can see is uh, the Isle of Wight. So we reach the end of Tanner's Lane and it's bin day again as usual. <laughs> at the end of Tanner's Lane you've got little beach and boulder foreshore nature reserve and we're going to turn right so as I say it's a nature reserve so um, regardless of the the uh, paths I've marked on the uh, on the map then you, you stick as far up the beach as you can to the beach and the grass and then not on the muddy bits not that you would want to go on the muddy bits and you might end up getting stuck and even worse disturbing birds nests so there's a ferry going into Yarmouth and we continue across this footbridge is owned by New Forest District Council and it's run by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. Um, it's part of the Solent and um, Southampton Water Ramsar which is a, a special conservation area um, for the sort of green habitat. So uh, yeah, go careful, don't wander out on there and damage any of it, just stick to the beach and uh, enjoy the beauty of it all. So you can see from the tide line that at very high tide it would be a difficult walk so I'd advise before you do the walk just have a look at the tide tables and uh, make sure you're not coming this way at high tide. So this is Plylewell House, it's Grade 2 listed and part of Plylewell Park. Plylewell Park is 1500 acres of land, it's got a church, a beach, uh, it's been run by trustees since 2019 because it was in, uh, in massive debt and they hire it out for weddings and all sorts of things now. It's a lovely location. But originally, Pylewell Park, before the house, was uh, owned by the Knights Templar Preceptor in the 12th century. Now, the Knights Templar Preceptor is a, a, a teacher in charge of a preceptory. So, whether there was a preceptory there, which is where the Knights Templar trained, I don't know, I didn't look deep enough into the history. But uh, there you go, it goes back to at least the 12th century, this part of the house. And there's the White Link Yarmouth to Lymington Ferry. And in the background are Needles and Hearst Castle. So I thought this was Second World War remnants for a minute because all along this coast there were landing craft going over to uh, D-Day. But I don't think so, I think it's just a wall to a property. So 
So the beach gets a bit impassable and the path takes us up these steps and we're going to walk parallel to the beach along the path set back a bit. So the path takes you up nicely past the protected bit of beach. So in between the rhododendrons, this would be lovely in May, June time when they come out in bloom. Be a riot of colour. So you notice there's no footpath uh, on the map because these are permissive footways. So there's kind of the option to jump back on the beach again, but uh, I think you might come a cropper with creeks and things. Trev the Intrepid has gone down that way. I'm going to follow the footpath because I know there'll be bridges over the creeks. So, I'll carry on down here. Woo! We've come that way, by the way, over the stile. I'm just going to carry on along this permissive footpath. So look who's back on my footpath now, look. Well, yeah, doing well, his doing his beam balancing. Yeah. It's a bit muddy and wet, I can't <laughs> get through. So stick to the path, folks. So here's a reason to stick to the path, you've got little bridges over the little streams and things. Uh, pretty soon we emerge out of the woods onto a campsite. I think this is Ember's campsite. I'll soon tell you. So 2021 is the year of the camper because of Covid and Ember's campsite are doing very well out of it. Nice position, nice pond just there and then the beach and the Solent over there. And on the pond we have a white egret. So we leave Ember's campsite behind. And we head up to the path which goes through the bushes there. So between the gap in the bushes. So leaving the campsite behind across the field. So we're coming off of Pylewell Park now. Thank you very much Pylewell Park for your permissive path. And we're going to turn right up the footpath. So Trev and I have found childhood favourite weeds. Go on then Trev, what did we used to do with these? Pick them up and pop them out. So that's the old granny granny pop out of bed as we used to say. So. Granny, Granny, pop out of bed! <laughs> is that sad or what? <laughs> this is the sort of thing that children of the 60s and 70s used to find fun. Yeah, with no devices. We didn't need computer games. So, passing through Lyle Court Farm. So, at the top of Shots Lane, we've got a footpath heading off across the fields. So, this nice little track is part of the Solent Way. And the Solent Way runs all the way from sort of New Milton area, right the way along the Solent to Emsworth. Although a lot of it isn't actually on the shore. <laughs> We've been closer to the shore on the permissive path than the Solent Way gets, so uh, don't expect sea views all the way. So keep your eyes open, because when you're on a, a track like this, it's quite often easy to just keep on following it blindly, but keep your eyes open 
for the discs that show the footpath because you'll see here the Solent Way and the footpath actually go round to the right off of the main track. So just be aware of that to keep yourself aware of where the footpath's going. So it makes you wonder how long have these works been going on? <laughs> this is nice horse chestnut trees making a lovely arch to walk through. So we're crossing the drive to Pyrewell House. We saw from the other side that there it is from this side. And we're carrying on straight on through this kissing gate. So we carry on along the track and the cricket club is to the right. And now we're passing over the lake in Pyrewell Park. Now they obviously run the lake as a private fishery. Some strimmer going again in the background. I always find them. So remembering our clues to our celebrity pub owner, I suppose this would be a good place to go twisting by the pool. There's a bridge over troubled water, that's a red herring. <laughs> so pretty soon we're back out onto the road and Trev and I are truly brothers in arms. So here we are at the house on the green again. You'll recognise from earlier. Here's the signpost. And we're going to retrace our steps back up the lane to East End and the pub. Have you guessed who that celebrity is yet? I'll tell you when we get there. So here we are, back at the East End Arms. Lunchtime now, so a bit busier. So, lovely little pub inside. Music theme pictures on the wall. Can you guess who it is yet? Put you out of your misery. The owner of this pub is none other than John Ilsley, who's the bass guitarist with Dire Straits. So there we go, that was a great walk back to a great pub for uh, Trev San Miguel and my Ringwood Best. And that's uh, about four and a half miles of, of quite easy walking. So I say beware of the tides when you go down on the beach, but uh, certainly a lovely walk with beautiful views. So uh, if you enjoyed that walk, then please like and subscribe and maybe I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.